This is shaping up to be the best crop that farmers along the Mary River have seen in a decade. And to ensure it stays that way, they're taking advantage of off-peak electricity tariffs to water their sugarcane overnight. As energy prices continue to rise, and pumping water at high pressure is a costly business, growers who rely on irrigation are increasingly making the switch to low pressure and more energy efficient overhead irrigation systems. At Teddington, just south of Maryborough, Alan Burt is taking our cane growers virtual bus tour out to inspect the 105 hectare farm that he leases from MSF Sugar. This farm is being set up with a new low pressure centre pivot irrigator. It's one of 40 centre pivot systems that MSF Sugar has invested in as part of a $15 million project to boost production on 17 farms. That's 1,600 hectares of cane land. Uh, it's an MSF um, project uh, and water efficiency naturally is a key uh, thing. Uh, it's a nine span, 450 metre, somatic centre pivot. There's going to be 90 litres a second of water delivered to the centre pivot under low pressure and uh, it will take uh, two days to put on 25 mils on 70 hectares. Currently the lighter, sandier soil on this lease farm is averaging crops in the range of 70 tonnes to the hectare. It's what Alan describes as marginal for growing sugarcane. But that assessment could be about to change with the shift to a new irrigation system. It's shaping up to make the land more productive and also better for the environment. Under conventional high pressure irrigation, the soil tends to compact and seal up, causing issues with runoff during irrigation events. Alan's expecting next to zero runoff with the gentler, low pressure overhead system. And that means both water and nutrients being put to work where they need to be, in the soil. Cost effective is one of the main things, but um, more water use on the block, there'll be no initial runoff against a high pressure system uh, because it's uh, very light country. Even though I do a uh, full thrash blanket it is very noticeable that uh, when you're irrigating plant cane the water's um, running out at the end of the rows before the uh, high pressure system uh, was finished its run where, uh, where you're putting a low pressure system there should be very limited um, runoff. The pivot system is controlled at a central switch box. Once the power and water are connected, it'll simply be a matter of pressing a few buttons and setting the speed at which the pivot walks over the undulating landscape to determine the rate at which the water is applied to the crop. The built-in flexibility of the pivot system even allows it to be controlled using a smartphone. Given this sandy soil has limited water holding capacity, the ability of the centre pivot to walk around the farm quickly and top up soil moisture is also expected to have a significant impact on productivity. I'm expecting to um, increase yield is, is, is one of the big focuses where I only average just around the 70 tonnes a hectare at the moment and like I averaged over the last 10 years but um, the biggest thing is because it's only marginal soil and it's not as um, uh, fertile as like river flats or red soil. So there's going to be some, because I can put water on and top the soil profile up all the time, there should be, uh, I, I'm hoping um, that I'll get to around the uh, 90 odd tonne to hectare average. It's an average Alan is hoping to achieve across the entire farm, not just in the area being serviced by the pivot. Another key benefit of the automated centre pivot system is that it frees up labour to be used elsewhere on the farm. And that can be best used, ensuring irrigation is kept up to the remaining 30 hectares that's still on high pressure irrigation. All the literature I've read that um, you, uh, because of the ease of irrigating, you actually start irrigating and top the profile up before it dries out. The ease of it, you'll start irrigating earlier and then only put small amounts of water on. So all the stuff that I read, you know, that say that 20 to 25 mils and put it on like twice a week as the crop needs it. The, the ease of farming the 70 hectares of the total is under the centre pivot, but there's still 30 hectares outside the circle, but it'll give me the um, time and the effort to be put in the whole farm. 
Another core objective of switching to low pressure irrigation is reducing the energy the system needs to operate. Alan sources his water from the nearby Tanana Creek barrage and it's pumped more than a kilometre just to reach the farm. Central to the cane growing operation is a 10 megalitre irrigation dam that doubles as a recycling pit collecting farm runoff. It's been redesigned to feed a new pumping station for the centre pivot that uses a smaller and more energy efficient electric pump. This is our, um, our, our dam we put in to uh, collect the water from runoff and as you can see on the other side is the high pressure pump station over there but on the back of that pump station is uh, a manifold and uh, you probably if you closely look there's an outlet that uh, will spew water into the uh, dam from the creek which pump which is situated a kilometre away and then we've got the uh, foot valve which is floating uh, which uh, is a suction for the uh, centre pivot which is over on our right uh, and then it takes the water up 450 metres to where the centre pivot is uh, situated and uh, when that centre pivot does come around it'll mi miss the, uh, the uh, pump station by uh, 20 or so metres. In energy terms, the centre pivot system will deliver major savings, needing substantially less pressure and less electricity to irrigate the crop. It's a win for on-farm efficiency and the environment. For the centre pivot, the area that was uh, serviced by two high pressure systems, I'll only have one pump and it's only going to be 90 horsepower. So there is a, a energy saving there, plus then there's going to be um, efficiencies in the farming operation where I uh, don't have to change irrigators or employ people to change irrigators and get better use of water too, that's the big thing. By making more efficient use of water, using less energy and minimising farm runoff, cane growers Meriburra director Alan Burt is confident the $15 million invested by MSF Sugar in centre pivot technology will deliver sustainability to the sugar industry in the Meriburra district. It's a two-way street, uh, like the mill has to have cane, but the car farmers have got to be um, viable to keep growing cane and uh, no doubt we've had some reasonable prices as late uh, with the price diving at the moment. It's not very encouraging, but if we don't have this investment in uh, new technology, um, farmers will not be able to stay in the industry and if the farmers can't stay in the industry, the mill's not going to be viable, so it's a two-way street.